This year, our group decided to focus our giving, educating families and educators, teachers, on drug abuse and addiction. Here in two, between 2012 and 2014, uh, Americans were prescribed more than five and a half times the amount of opiate painkillers that, that the French were. All the American service men that were involved in the Vietnam War during 20 years, um, only 58,000 uh, servicemen were killed. That's, that number is eclipsed uh, every year right now as we're, as we're speaking in terms of opiate overdoses. Um, one in uh, four, 40 New Yorkers, almost four, it's, it's 4.95 something or other, um, uh, uh, New Yorkers are, are dying every day from fatal overdose. Uh, naloxone is an amazing reversal agent. It's, it's, it's it's very, very safe. I like, I like to go back to the one, two, threes. You've got to recognize that a person is overdosing by not breathing. Basically, that's turning blue. Um, and uh, you have to try, you have a small intervention to try to, to see whether they're awake. Um, and that's called the sternal rub. That's what we do. That's in, um, in medicine, that's, that's a way of slapping people in the face or, or pouring water on them. We're not allowed to do that, so we use the sternal rub. Um, and uh, then call 911 and give naloxone. Many, many times, um, the, uh, the, the issues of neglect, the, the issues of, 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 um, uh, of trauma that come up, shock to, to the emotional system, uh, will create personality styles and create you know, post-traumatic stress that we know but from evidence predisposes people to substance abuse. So you've seen the subway ads and there's you know, an aggressive campaign to get the word out and to get the stigma uh, for treatment um, under control. Doctors were encouraged through reimbursement to extinguish pain. There are many, many opiate addiction diagnoses out there and only a small subset of folks are in, in uh, treatment. Number one uh, is really safeguard medication. Tylenol or acetaminophen, um, aspirin, any, all medication has the potential to do harm. And I hear a lot that I didn't know that Vicodin would hurt me. There are a lot of really successful people in treatment. Teach kids about the, the medical illness of addiction, that it's a problem with the brain, that it's not some social deviancy or some um, internal flaw, just reasonable prescriptions of opioids. And I think we've done a really good job um, uh, in this country reducing the number of prescriptions that you treat a parent and you get a better outcome for a child.